the South African cheetah. Hi everybody, my name is Leo. I am a junior ranger and this is my puppy, Hero. I'm bird watching. We have to be really quiet and invisible or we'll scare the birds away. Let's see what we can find. Over there, it's an owl and it's fast asleep. Hey, there's some movement in those leaves. I think it's some kind of cat, but I've never seen a cat with fur like that before. <laughs> How strange. This cat sounds just like a bird. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hi, Katie. Are you there? We found a cat in the garden. It has spots on its fur and it chirps like a bird. Hi, Leo. That cat sure looks cute. Can you find more information about it? Leave it to me. All right, I'm coming up. Hero, you stay here with our little friend. I'll be right back. <laughs> Come on, everybody. Let's go into the treehouse. Hi, Katie. So, did you find out what kind of cat it is? Hi, Leo. I sure did. The animal you found is actually a South African cheetah. And it's a cub, which means it's still young. Cheetahs are the fastest land animals in the world. The cheetah is built for speed. It has a light, slender body and long, flexible legs. But even though the cheetah is a fast runner, it gets tired quickly after chasing prey. Chasing prey? They eat other animals? Cheetahs feed on small to medium-sized animals, such as hares, birds, and antelopes. But the one you found is still a cub, so it needs milk from its mother. A mother cheetah also protects her cubs from predators and teaches them how to hunt. By the way, South African cheetahs live in deserts and grasslands in South Africa. And the one you found comes from this place. Hmm, the cheetah cub needs to be with its mother to get milk and learn how to hunt. We should return it to its home in South Africa. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. For lots of fun and lots to learn. One, two, off we go. For lots of fun and lots to learn. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Welcome to the Savannah, Junior Rangers. What are you doing up there, Ranger Rocky? Illegal hunters have been spotted nearby, so I'm on the lookout for them. Up here, I have a good view of the Savannah. Ah! I see you brought along a cheetah cub with you today. Make sure you watch over your little friend. Cheetahs are a vulnerable species. This means they are in danger of disappearing forever. Many cheetahs lose their homes to people who take their land to build and farm. Cheetahs are also hunted illegally for their fur. On top of that, cheetahs, especially cheetah cubs, are stolen from their homes to be sold as illegal pets. That's terrible. We'll make sure our cheetah cub stays safe. Ranger Rocky, we're trying to return the cheetah cub to its mother. Do you know where we should look? Find the cheetah cub's brothers and sisters and you'll find its mother. A mother cheetah normally has three to six cheetah cubs, which she hides in thick clumps of grass. You should look out for bushes or tall grass with the sound of chirping. 
Cheetah cubs make calls that sound like bird chirps. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Thank, Thank you, Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Let's see what we can find. Here are some thick bushes. <sighs> it sounds like a big animal that goes grrr. And on this side is a lot of tall grass. It sounds like birds chirping. Do you know where we should go? Over there are some thick bushes with this sound. And over there is a lot of tall grass with this sound. So where should we go? There? That's right. We need to go to the tall grass with the sound of chirping because cheetah cubs sound like birds. Let's go. What? The Jeep stopped working. I think the engine is overheated. We'll have to walk. Cheetah Cub! Look at those animal traps, Leo. They must be the illegal hunters that Ranger Rocky was looking for. After them! It's no use. They're too fast. If only we could run as fast as the cheetah. We can't run as fast as a cheetah, but we certainly can fly as fast as one. That's a great idea. Come on, everyone. Let's get the cheetah cub back. I can't get the cheetah cub out of the net unless we slow down. Hero, I need your help. <laughs> Gotcha, Cheetah Cub. No more hunting for these guys. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Excellent work, Junior Rangers. You've saved the Cheetah Cub and helped me catch these illegal hunters. What should we look for now? That's easy. If you want to find the Cheetah Cub's family, just look for rustling grass, not for an hourglass or a mountain pass. But look for rustling grass. I see. So not for an hourglass or a mountain pass, but, but look, look for, for rustling, rustling grass. grass. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Okay, Hero, to find the cheetah cubs family, you have to look for rustling grass. Good luck. <laughs> Hero, there are a few dots on your radar. One of them might be the cheetah cub's family. Could the cheetah cub's family be in this grass? Hmm, there's nothing there. Let's continue. Do you see that? The grass is moving. That's a lioness. We better look somewhere else. What's this? The grass is moving and there are chirping sounds. Those are cheetah cubs, and there's their mother. This must be our cheetah cubs family. Great work, Hero. We're coming over. We did it. We found the cheetah cubs family. Great job, everyone. Hooray! Yay! found a South African cheetah in our garden. We learned that cheetahs are the fastest animals on land and that young cheetah cubs need to be with their mother. So we went to the savanna and brought the cheetah cub back to its family. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Mission accomplished. Welcome, fact finders and fun lovers, to the wildlife trivia bonanza that is Lil Quiz. With me, Quizmaster Wobie. We're going to play a game to see if you know what flies, swims, and hops. Now please give it up for our contestants, Rara, Kokiko, Dill, huh? and me. Welcome.
Welcome, contestants. Are you ready to wild out with the ultimate game of wildlife trivia? <laughs> huh? Ah! Today's question is... It's time to name that animal. Kokiko's chosen option A, a mouse. Let's see if she sniffed out the right answer. <laughs> Sorry, that is incorrect. I moused ask you to try again. You've got one more shot, contestants. Which animal makes this sound? <laughs> option C, a bat. That's correct. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> Bats use their adorable voices to communicate with each other and to navigate via echolocation. You've won our grand prize, a flamingo manicure. I hope you like pink. We'll be back with another little quiz next time. parade Mr. Triangle Man planned last year. I've tried to get everything perfect. Uh, the streamers, the seashells. Everyone's going to have a blast. It's just too bad the Triangle Aliens are away on vacation. They've always enjoyed the parade. What about their pet? Well, Sloppy's taking care of the alien pet for them, so he gets to enjoy it at least. I hope you're right. Last year was amazing. Everyone would be so disappointed if this year isn't. I've got a huge surprise planned. But I'm waiting till the parade's in full swing to reveal it. Uh -uh. We're not sure if shaved ice is good for the alien pet. It's probably best not to give any for now. Uh -uh. Oh dear! Has the alien pet caught a cold? It's freezing things with its antenna! That's not normal. It has to be a cold. Maybe the temperature's warmer back on its home planet. Oh. <laughs> if it keeps going at this rate, the summer parade's going to be a winter disaster! <laughs> hmm. Ah. Let's draw, draw, draw! Hello, everyone. Watch me use my magic crayon to draw most anything in Molly's scratch pad. If I see it in my head, I can draw it with my hands. Almost anything in Molly's scratch pad. Oh no! 
Before the day's out. Not with the alien pet still freezing stuff. Everyone was looking forward to the summer parade, and now it's all ruined. Don't worry, Ollie. We'll figure out a way to fix this together. <laughs> things because it's too cold. But because it's too hot. That's it. Maybe it's freezing things to cool itself down. Let's get more shaved ice to help it along. <sighs> it's frozen solid. The alien pet can't eat the ice like this. Oh, I break it apart. to turn it into shaved ice. But there's so many. And they're so small. I don't think I can break all of them with my hammer. <laughs> we can't break the ice with a hammer, but we can break it with sound. I'll give it a go. It's showtime. Come on, everybody. Thank <laughs> you. 